All right then, so this is the situation now. We have our Express app and GraphQL server built on Node.js, and we've hooked this up to MongoDB. So when we make test requests from the front end in this tool called Graphical, we're sending those to the server, and the resolve functions over here are going out to MongoDB to retrieve the information we need, return it to the server, which is then determining what data to send back to the user in the browser dependent on the query that was made. So this is all well and good. We've kind of taken care of the right hand side of this equation, all of the server and the database stuff. But ideally going forward, we don't always want to be just making requests or queries from this tool called Graphical. I imagine at some point what we'd like to do is make an application in the browser, some kind of website, and then allow that to make queries to the GraphQL server over here and retrieve data from it so it can show it to the end user using that website. So we want to replace Graphical with some kind of app. We're going to use React to flesh out an app on the front end. Now, because GraphQL query language is not JavaScript, although it looks like it, it's not, then out of the box, it's not understood by React or any other kind of JavaScript framework on the front end. Now, to help us kind of bind GraphQL to our application, we're going to use a GraphQL client. And one of those is called Apollo. So this is the thing we're going to be using to help bind GraphQL to our React app so that we can make queries using GraphQL to our server. All right. So just to break this down a little bit more, we're going to have our React app and we're going to have a couple of different components, maybe even three, but it's going to look something like this. We'll have a book list component, which will render a list of different books. Then we'll also have an add book component, which will be a form of some description to add a new book to that list. So in both cases right here, these components are going to be making queries right to the server. This top one to get a list of all the different books and this one right here to add a new book to make a mutation. So the way this is going to work is we bind queries to our components, right? And the way we do that is by using this Apollo clients. So Apollo can help us create a query and then bind that query to a component so that when that component renders in the browser, automatically behind the scenes, Apollo is handling that query to the server and returning any information so that we can show it inside the component. And this works really well with React. And you'll see exactly how this works as we go forward. All right. So when the GraphQL server receives that query, then it's going to go to MLab, get the data and return it back to us. So that's basically how this application is going to look. Now to flesh out this front end application, we're going to be using this create react app. OK, so you can find that on GitHub. I'm going to leave this link down below. It's by Facebook and it's really simple to use. But basically, all we're going to be doing is creating a React app using this command in our console. So we're going to start doing that in the very next tutorial.